Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, The Right Podcast. I'm Minahil Khan and today I have with me Ms. Amna Beg. Amna Beg started her career in 2016 with the Pakistan Police. Um, she's work- she currently works as an SDPO at uh, Kosar Complex in Islamabad. She's worked in Gujarat, in Rawalpindi and with the FC in, in Islamabad as well. Um, she works for the rights of children, for the rights of women in increasing their access to justice. She's done a degree in business from NUST. and is currently doing uh, an LLB degree from the University of London as well which is quite impressive considering um the amount of work that she does on the daily with uh, with the police and um she's also worked on creating units within Rawalpindi and Islamabad in increasing access to justice for women so um amna this is some commendable work that you've done i see what you're doing on twitter around you know islamabad as well and it's really impressive and we'd love to know more about it um so if you could just you know tell us a bit about your journey within uh, the civil service and how you started your career and what sort of pushed you towards working uh, for the rights of marginalized and vulnerable groups such as women and children uh, thank you so much for having me minail and uh, your organization is doing wonderful work and i'm always following you know your publications so thank you for having me here um yeah uh, definitely uh, the, the journey uh, as i say uh is uh, it started in 2016 as you know uh, but uh, before that i ha- as you mentioned i have a degree in economics and yeah. uh, throughout my university my father was a civil servant so i know what i knew what civil servants civil service was and uh, i always knew that this is the career that i wanted for myself and uh, back then um, there wasn't much awareness around it uh, as it is today however because i grew up with an environment where my father used to take me to his office he used to show this kind of work that he was doing so i i always knew that you know this is eventually the the goals that that i had set for myself and uh, exactly uh, as soon as i got done with my degree i uh, sat the civil services exam and uh, then i got allocated to police service of pakistan which was my choice and uh, it's been a wonderful 5 years now yeah. uh, and uh, it's been great yeah so police service why mm-hmm. what kind of you know um what pushed you to go into the police service considering that's something that we don't really see a lot of women going into it's not it's a very male dominated field um people are not really encourage mm. people don't encourage women to go into it uh, so what made you choose that uh, i think uh, exactly that reason you know yeah. this was exactly the reason that i joined the civil uh, sorry police service of pakistan because i did not see a lot of women there yeah. and in fact uh, i uh, i used to think that you know more than a uh, half of the country's population is women and you know when we talk about uh, fundamental rights when we talk about security we talk about justice etc so and then there is this cultural taboo of women going to police station and uh, you know it's not considered something good so if something goes wrong with a woman a man is supposed to handle that and the man of the house would but what if you you have an issue with the man of the house what do you do then uh, so all these thoughts uh, together and uh, i think um, then again uh, i had seen a lot of crime documentaries <laughs> so i was just interested in doing what you know these detectives used to do but uh, generally it was uh, uh, you know i, I always knew somehow in i that you know this is the sort of thing that i want to do yeah, yeah. no but it's great the fact that you are in this field now and um, you know i see you really trying to change the image and uh, of the police mm-hmm. because we've generally seen that you know mm-hmm. especially with law enforcement ag- agencies mm-hmm. there is that image that comes with it that oh you know they might not uh, really be there to um, to increase accessibility to ensure inclusivity yeah. but with you i see that you know you're really making that impact mm-hmm. and um, so i just wanted to know now that you're part of the police and considering you know that mm-hmm. the, it is still a very male dominated mm-hmm. field how has it been for you how's that journey been for you as a woman um, working with the police working with um, criminals working with those people mm-hmm. who are often you know the perpetrators of very heinous crimes against women so when they see you there how does it um, how does it impact them? them and how do you respond to it uh, i think uh, it has been very rewarding i'd say um, you know i mean extremely rewarding and uh, alhamdulillah and then uh, again the journey in the department which is very male dominated as you mentioned i feel uh, that i've been very lucky uh, that i've had always had seniors who have been very supportive and very inclusive like i've never felt that you know i'm being discriminated against because uh, i i'm a lady or or, or a woman no no i've never felt that in fact 
I think once you wear the uniform, your your gender disappears. You're just an officer, and that's exactly how the seniors see you, and and even the juniors. You're you're under command. They, that's I've never felt that you know there is, uh, uh, they're not making me do something because I'm a woman or making me do something because no no it doesn't work like that. In fact, I always jokingly say that you know we we work uh, more than the the men the ma- male colleagues because all of the districts uh, you know gender related crimes come to us even if they're not in our jurisdiction uh, so yeah it has uh, like i don't know so even though i was expecting it i'd say like yeah. you know how you have this idea of police stations just being a male dominated public space but uh, after i joined the service i realized that there are a lot of misconception regarding police and one of them is that maybe if a female joins she would be discriminated against there's no such thing that's really good to know mm-hmm. and um i think it's so important also the fact that you know there are more women within the police yeah. service and i think this needs to the number really needs to increase because as you said that there's so many gender related issues and all those cases then they come to the you know to the few women who are in the field mm-hmm. um so in this uh, i mean in relation to this i was uh, looking at the harassment reporting yeah. unit that you've um, established in rawalpindi and the helpline in islamabad mm-hmm. as well and what is the idea behind this what does the unit do mm-hmm. and uh, what kind of you know what are some of the major impediments that it's is that it seeks to sort of uh, remove in relation to access to justice Okay so when I uh, uh after I, uh, I I I after I took my charge uh, in Pindi the first time I took my charge after 3 months of that uh, my staff came up to me and they started saying that you know madam since you have joined we we have a lot more uh, female complaints coming in and then again uh, I started using social media and we were getting a lot of uh, uh you know uh, complaints through social media people somehow uh, you know got access to a police officer and uh, which was probably according to i feel that in their minds it wasn't accessible before so uh, then there was a lot of complaints coming through social media as well and uh, i there was one thing that i realized after i i used to speak to all the victims uh, over social media or people who would getting in touch with me through people they'd say that we don't want to come to a police station so can you sort our issue without us visiting the police station so i realized that there is this mental barrier that exists uh, in in terms of police station and uh, one of the reasons i believe was that like we all think that you know it's only male officers there yeah. and uh, to counter that and to to have a force which is Uh, so the idea was that even if we we are getting a call at 2 a.m. in the morning or 5 a.m. in the morning, and if we, even if it's getting we are getting it from like the Nall or Gorra etc., uh, the responding team would be ladies. Yeah. So generally, when you call one five, the police mobile goes right. But most of these gender-based crimes, uh, women are more comfortable speaking to women, and we saw that most of the times when there were calls from neighbors, you know, that we are hearing something going on in our uh, in our neighbor's house, and you know, maybe a woman is being beaten up. So when the police would respond, they'd be like, "Oh, we don't want to report." But I think the reason is that most of the time the women are not comfortable talking to uh, a male police officer in the middle of the night for whatever reason maybe she's just scared of the husband being around etc etc so that is why that is how we decided that you know the responding team would be ladies and even they would not the facilitation center where we would be bringing the victim would be all uh, female staff so this is this was the idea behind uh, the gender unit and uh, it's doing great i mean we have a toll free helpline 24/7 the walk in station is also 24/7 it's uh, nicely made up uh, uh, we we call it a facilitation center we have uh, a staff of all lady officers so uh, and it has had a wonderful response in the first uh, i believe uh one and a half month that uh, we inaugurated in 2000 uh, may 2021 so it's been one and a half one and uh, the data shows excellent results i mean most of the complaints that we are getting are resolved uh, women are more comfortable we are we are getting uh, more more crimes are being reported so m- the success in the project lies in the fact that more people are using the helpline more women are using so in a way we are we i believe we have tried to somehow uh, in uh, ease out the access to justice which was not probably not so much for women before this yeah so within this unit who how do you register the fir how do women go about that because i feel one of the major roadblocks mm-hmm. for, women, for women in addition to the fact mm-hmm. as you mentioned is that when they interact when their first interaction mm-hmm. is with um is with men they feel very overwhelmed and mm-hmm. i think they're not able to sort of explain what yeah. they're going through at the time and which becomes 
a, which becomes an issue when you're reporting a crime. Um, but in addition to that, I think it's also um, that many women don't know of you know their of their um, of of the legal remedies that they have. And mm-hmm. they're not very mm-hmm. aware of the law. They're not very aware yeah. of the procedure. So what does the unit do in relation to that? Whether it's, you know, registering an FIR or knowing which, um, you know, clause applies to a particular offense, whether it's domestic violence, whether it's a case of harassment. Um, how does, how do you facilitate that through this unit? Okay, so Manal, uh, exactly. See, uh, in the first month uh, after we we uh, we went over the data and we all the senior officers sat down and we saw what was happening and we realized that there were a lot of complaints but not everybody wanted an FIR there were small petty issues and they were getting resolved but there were FIRs as well there were around like seven to eight FIRs and uh, uh, after the first month uh, the current IG I think he's a, he's a visionary and he's very open to this debate about gender and he has always uh, encouraged us to do more in terms of you know providing access to justice to children and transgenders and women so um, uh, we have now been directed and now what we are trying to do is that we are First, what we were doing was that we were registering the FIRs in the uh, concerned police station, the jurisdiction. Yeah. However, uh, Islamabad has a women police station and basically the gender protection unit is, uh, I'd say, an offshoot of that women police station. Mm-hmm. And now what we have started doing is we are registering the FIRs in the unit because it comes under the women police station. So that is also a big success uh, and I hope uh, it goes well in the future. Yeah. Hey, that's very good to know. And um, generally, I think, you know, when we're discussing access to justice and um, not just women, but I think all over, people don't really know their legal remedies. Yeah. So, uske liye, what is the police doing in relation to that? Are there any, you know, campaigns, yeah. you know, awareness campaigns? Ke, you know, this is, if this happens to you, this is a crime. This is something that you can report. This is a, the legal remedy that you have. Um, because generally, we do a lot of research on this. And we always, every time we interact with any stakeholders, their biggest choice is that they're like, we don't know. We don't know what CRPC is saying, which is the crimes in PPC. So, yeah. I think this is a very big issue because of which जो स्पेशली जो मार्जिनलाइज्ड हमारी कम्युनिटीज है वो और ज्यादा उनकी ये डीपन हो जाती है इनइक्वालिटीज तो उसके लिए यू नो व्हाट यू नो इज द इज द पुलिस इन एनी वे डूइंग समथिंग फॉर दैट आल्सो जी एब्सोल्युटली आई आई थिंक दैट आई शुड लाइक आई वुड लाइक टू मेंशन ओवर हियर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपने बोला हमारे पास ना मिनाइल बहुत सारे ऐसे केसेस भी आते हैं वेयर वुमेन कम इन एंड दे आर जस्ट सीकिंग लीगल एडवाइस सो मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वुमेन वुड कम टू इदर माय ऑफिस और गो टू द पुलिस स्टेशन एंड tell them that you know we uh, ask them that if they can help with their khula hmm. or maybe if they if we could tell them that you know what would what would happen if she gets a khula would she get the kids would she get any money yeah. so you get what i mean that you know uh, i i don't think this was happening before now people are more aware because of the access to social media internet etc yeah. however yes Mm, uh, this uh, in terms of you know them knowing that domestic violence is wrong and this should be reported uh, we we are, we are still way behind like the community needs to come together and isme i feel mean i'll only police cannot do much of course uh, uh, because aapko pata hai ki ye community ka masla hai and the community needs to come together and uh, uh, we have had even calls like i think five six calls where the neighbors have called us and told us that you know there is something uh, going on in the house next to ours and you should check aur us tarah ke cases mein once we have responded the women have come forward hmm. so kehne ka maksad ye hai ki it is a joint responsibility even though we are trying on our end we are we are trying to bring everybody on board we are trying to uh, engage them in the this conversation and uh, ask them to you know tell women that there is a help line 247 for them 8090 call any time from anywhere islamabad and report it however again it's it's police uh, we, we we are the police we are not an advertising agency yeah. so we need to we, we we can't do much about yeah. that however people have been very kind we have had some really good partners who have tried to disseminate the message uh, but uske sath sath i believe that uh, the community the community yeah. really really needs to you know uh, it, it's not just the people around you like you you can't say that strangers would call up it should be the family members mm-hmm. they should know if something is going wrong in somebody's life and they they're very scared to you know report it just give them the confidence tell them you know this is how you can get help and help them 
गेट द हेल्प तो वो सबकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी वी ऑल शुड कम टूगेदर एब्सोलूटली बिकॉज आई थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ द पुलिस जस्ट द फैक्ट कि आप लोगों की एक वीमेन सेंट्रिक एक यूनिट है विच यू नो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरली इज ऑल्सो रियली गुड जिसके अंदर मतलब यू हैव पीपल हु आर ट्रेन टू डील विद जेंडर रिलेटेड इशूज दिस इन इट सेल्फ इज अ बिग इट्स इट्स मॉन्यूमेंटल पर आई थिंक इसके गोइंग फॉरवर्ड आई थिंक हम लोगों को कुछ अपने जो सोसाइटल नॉर्म्स हैं उनको भी चेंज करना होगा जो हमारे आइडियाज हैं उनको भी थोड़ा चेंज करना होगा कि यू नो जनरली डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस का अगर इशू आता है तो हम कहते हैं दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज यू नो कन्फाइंड टू द हाउस ये एक यू नो मर्द और औरत के बीच का ही इशू है एंड यू नो पीपल आउटसाइड ऑफ द हाउस शुड नॉट बी कमेंटिंग ऑन इट सो आई थिंक यू नो इन एडिशन टू व्हाट्स हैपनिंग एट दिस लेवल देयर आल्सो नीड्स टू बी यू नो कैंपेंस एंड यू नो गोइंग फॉरवर्ड जिसके थ्रू हम लोगों के पास एक तो जो लीगल रेमेडीज हैं उसके ऊपर अवेयरनेस होनी चाहिए और दूसरा ये होना चाहिए कि जो हम लोग देखते आई मीन यू नो व्हाट आई थिंक रियली व्हाट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट इज दैट जो मिसकनसेप्शंस भी लोगों के दिमाग में है कि यू नो व्हेन यू गो टू द पुलिस यू विल नॉट बी हर्ट या फिर व्हेन यू गो टू द पुलिस आपके जो आपको आपके इशू को अंडरमाइन किया जाएगा आई थिंक ये भी बहुत जरूरी होता है एंड दिस आई मीन नॉट जस्ट फॉर वुमेन एंड जेंडर रिलेटेड इशूज बट आई थिंक ऑल ओवर एंड उसके ऊपर आई फील दैट यू नो द पुलिस इज नाउ रियली काइंड ऑफ यू नो वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स चेंजिंग दैट इमेज बट वट डू यू थिंक यू नो शॉर्ट टर्म लॉन्ग टर्म ऐसी क्या रिफॉर्म्स और स्ट्रक्चरल चेंजेस की जरूरत है जिसके बायस हम लोग पुलिस को वी कैन काइंड ऑफ यू नो स्टार्ट री री इमेजिनिंग दैम और यू नो काइंड ऑफ अनलर्निंग सम ऑफ द थिंग्स जो हम लोगों ने सोचा हुआ है जो हमारे कुछ परसेप्शन है रिगार्डिंग यू नो लॉ इन्फोर्समेंट एजेंसी स्पेशली सो ये हम किस तरह कर सकते हैं वॉट यू नो वॉट इज यहाँ पर मिनाइल मैं एक बात करना चाहूँगी मैं हमेशा कहती हूँ कि देखें मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स वन पीपल हैर सेंग समथिंग अबाउट पुलिस और टॉकिंग समथिंग अबाउट पुलिस Uh, it's it's the second hand experience it's mm. not the first hand so you'd read something somewhere and then you you know like form an opinion about that particular department and this is exactly what was going before i joined the police service this is exactly how you i used to think i used to think ki acha uske sath there are good and bad people everywhere mistakes happen and uske sath ye hua to you know this the whole department is like that aisa nahi hai in fact i feel that we all should be very socially responsible when we're talking about such an important <coughs> department which is basically providing the emergency help right usme hota ye hai ki agar aapne koi aisi baat irresponsibly kar li shayad jisme beech mein sadaqat na bhi ho aur ek banda jisko shayad help chahiye thi ya ek khatoon jisko help chahiye thi she she doesn't call for help because she has that perception about that department because of what you said or what yeah, you did so ye cheez bhi hum logon ko thoda sa jo hai responsibility cheezon ke sath deal karna chahiye because usse jo second hand experience hai jo indirect impact ho raha hai wo bahut zyada ho raha hai aur bahut sare log shayad isliye forward they don't come forward because logon ne jo ek banai hui hai na jo ek perception abhi ek bana hua hai ki acha yahan yahan jaoge to pata nahi case kya hoga who will interact with you aapka kis tarah se matlab you know wo aapko secondary victimization Yeah. ना हो जाए आपकी yeah. वहां जाके सो यू नो दैट्स आई थिंक समथिंग दैट रियली नीड्स टू चेंज एंड आई डू सी दैट यू नो उसके ऊपर मतलब आई सी यू डूइंग अलॉट ऑफ वर्क ऑन दैट एंड यू नो सो व्हिच इज व्हाई रियली वांट टू डू के कोई इस तरह का इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइज्ड प्रोग्राम है विद इन द पुलिस राइट नाउ जिसके थ्रू मतलब यू आर ट्राइंग एक्टिवली टू चेंज द परसेप्शंस ऑफ पीपल एब्सोल्युटली जी परसेप्शन यू नो इज एक्सट्रीमली एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी रियलाइज दैट एंड जस्ट आपने कहा कि लोगों के ज़हनों में बहुत अजीब अजीब किस्म की बातें हैं अबाउट द पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट एंड वी रियलाइज दिस एंड The, because of that all of the good work that the police is doing is not being highlighted and this is not fair this is not fair in, neither to the department and neither to the people who who want help and they are probably not getting it because you know they have some sort of wrong perception about the department तो उसमें जी बिल्कुल ऐसा है कि वी वी आर ट्राइंग आर बेस्ट हम लोगों की अभी आई साहब की एक बहुत ही अच्छी कैंपेन उन्होंने स्टार्ट की है जिसमें उन्होंने रबता कैंपेन के नाम से उसको कहा है इस्लाबाद पुलिस की और उसमें मिनाल वट वी आर डूइंग इज दैट ऑल दी ऑफिसर्स गो आउट ऑफ देर ऑफिसर्स दे वॉक इन द मार्केट दे टेक देर पुलिस ऑफिसर्स लॉन्ग एंड दे स्पीक टू पीपल सो इफ़ यू योर योर इन योर योर जस्ट गोइंग अराउंड टू शॉप यूर जस्ट गोइंग अराउंड टू वॉक हम आपके पास आएंगे वी गो टू पार्कस वी गो टू मार्केट्स वी गो टू ऑल दीज पब्लिक स्पेसिस वेर वी फील दैट पीपल कम एंड वी टॉक टू then we ask them if there are any issues because we feel that a lot of people do not have the direct interaction that should they should have yes, so that they actually know what police is like so bahut dafa hum jate hain apni rabta campaign pe my sho me our team we all go and you would not be you would be amazed to know how, what the reactions are people are like oh my god we can't believe this like you know this is the first time i'm meeting a police officer or i'm talking to one yeah. and you know i'm not scared i'm so this is the these are the few things that we are trying to do again uh, um, on the social media campaign we try our best ke hum logon ko bata sake ke what uh, uh, 
you know what initiatives we have taken for them how we want to engage the community and what we are doing in that, yeah. that in that way so ye sari cheeze ho rahi hain and hopefully i mean it's going to take some time but i think uh, that because this medium is now available to us before tv us tarah se accessible nahi hota tha police ko itna zyada ya akhbar jo the usme khabar jo hai wo again wo kisi aur ke through lagti thi yeah. लेकिन सोशल मीडिया ने एक जो बहुत बड़ा हम लोगों को एडवांटेज दिया है वो ये है कि डायरेक्ट इंटरेक्शन हो गया है नाउ पीपल सी अस एज ह्यूमंस दे रियलाइज दे नो हु द पर्सन इज द वन हुज वेयरिंग द यूनिफॉर्म राइट बिहाइंड द यूनिफॉर्म व्हाई यू लुक एट देम एज पीपल देन एंड देन यू रिलेट टू देम आई थिंक दैट्स द बिगेस्ट थिंग दैट दे कैन लाइक ओ सो दे वॉच नेटफ्लिक्स अच्छा ये हमारी तरह सैर पे जाते हैं इनके बच्चे हैं सो दोस थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई बिलीव तो उसमें अब जैसा मैं देख रही थी कि यू हैव अ खुली कुछ कचहरी सिस्टम सो ये क्या है इज दिस आल्सो इन लाइन विद द होल यू नो ये जो इमेज चेंजिंग जो एक कैंपेन है इज दिस पार्ट ऑफ दैट जी जी राबता कैंपेन जो हमारी है उसी का हिस्सा है खुली कचहरी और उसमें व्हाट वी डू इज दैट आई आई रिसेंटली ट्वीटेड समथिंग एज़ वेल अबाउट हाउ आई सॉ दैट इन फॉर द फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ दैट देयर वर हाफ द वुमेन इन खुली कचहरी सॉरी हाफ द पार्टिसिपेंट इन द खुली कचहरी वर वुमेन व्हिच वाज अ बिग डील फॉर मी बिकॉज़ यू नो आई एम आई एम ऑलवेज इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग हाउ वुमेन आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग व्हाई दे आर नॉट पार्टिसिपेटिंग सो खुली कचहरी में ये होता है वी वॉक टू द कम्युनिटीज फॉर एग्जांपल हम गए थे अपनी क्रिश्चियन कम्युनिटी के पास जो एफ7 में रहती है और हमने उनको कहा कि इंस्टेड ऑफ यू कमिंग टू अस वी विल कम टू यू और वो भी रबता कैंपेन की ही एक एक्सटेंशन है एंड वी सैट विद दैम वी डिस्कस वी हैड एन आर और टू लॉन्ग कन्वर्सेशन माई एस पी साहब वॉज विद मी माई एस एच ओ वॉज विद मी सो वी ऑल वेंट टूगेदर वी स्पोक टू दैम दे स्पोक टू आस एंड वी वी हर्ड दैम आउट सो ये ये भी अगेन वट वी डू इज के वंस अ वीक वी गो टू एनी कम्यूनिटी कहीं पर भी कभी हम मदारस में चले जाते हैं कभी हम इन कम्यूनिटीज के पास चले जाते हैं और हम जाते हैं एंड वी टेल दैम दैट वी हैव कम फॉर यू सो वो जो एक नोशन है ना कि पुलिस वाला पुलिस स्टेशन से निकलता नहीं है या अफसर जो है वो अपने दफ्तरों में बैठे रहते हैं सो इट्स बेसिकली to shut that okay so that's really interesting and uske andar bhi matlab when we spoke earlier you were talking about you know children's rights yeah. okay that's also something which you particularly interested yeah. in you go into you know yeah. different institutions and so bachcho ke liye usme mujhe like you know what are some of the major issues that you see ke bachcho related kaun se aise cases hote hain jo aap logon ke samne aate hain ah ji bachcho ke related to आई फील कि एक तो जो बहुत बड़ा इशू है ना वो इस्लामाबाद में जो है वो मैं आपको बताऊंगी कि बेगरी का है वहाँ hmm. यहाँ पे ये होता है कि बिकॉज बच्चे जो हैं दे डोंट नो व्हाट्स हैपनिंग राइट एंड देन अगेन डीलर्स हैं वो प्रॉपर उनको लेके आते हैं इट्स अ प्रॉपर बिजनेस सो उसके ऊपर बहुत ज़्यादा हमने काम किया है एंड द रीज़न इज़ दैट यू नो वी आर वर्क विद मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स इज़ वेल उन्होंने अभी एक चाइल्ड प्रोटेक्शन सेंटर भी hmm. बनाया है होमवर्क में और यही हो रहा था कि बच्चे जो हैं दे वर बीइंग मिस यूज्ड और उस पर इस्लामाबाद पुलिस ने बहुत ज़्यादा काम किया है इनफैक्ट उनके हैंडलर्स को पकड़ा है उन पर कार्रवाई की है और उन बच्चों को जो है वो सेफ हाउसेस में जो होमवर्क है वहाँ पे पहुँचाया है सो दैट बिकॉज अ चाइल्ड डज नॉट नो वट्स राइट और रॉन्ग ही इज़ बींग मिस तो हमारे लिए एक सबसे बड़ा इशू यहाँ पर ये था बट वी आर ट्राइंग आर बेस्ट और अभी तक इस्लामाबाद पुलिस ने बहुत ज़्यादा इस पर काम किया है और उसमें होता ये था कि हैंडलर्स होते थे वो आते थे बच्चों को लेके आते थे और वो छोड़ देते थे और फिर वो ले जाते थे सो द चाइल्ड इज सफरिंग द हैंडलर इज अर्निंग मनी सो उस तरह के छोटे छोटे इश्यूज जो है ना वो हमारे लिए बहुत ज्यादा लोगों के लिए मे बी वी गॉट अ लॉट ऑफ बैक क्लैश ऑन दिस इज वेल के पता नहीं क्या कर रही है पुलिस जो है वो बेगर्स के पीछे क्यों चली गई है उसमें द आइडिया इज दैट यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज कॉस्टिंग अस आर फ्यूचर you know hmm. the children uh, are being kept from school the children are not uh, getting uh, the sort of social services that they they should be getting at yeah. that particular age and again most importantly uh, it is actually favoring somebody else and they are just being misused hmm. so uske upar samwat police ne bahut kaam kiya aur wo bhi chal raha hai so we are hoping that inshallah inshallah we will be able to uh, do maximum for these kids yeah नहीं दैट्स रियली गुड आम जनरली मेरा एक मतलब यू नो दिस इज अ वेरी पर्सनल सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक यू नो थिंक दैट आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट वर्स कि यू नो बिकॉज ऑल डे योर डे जॉब इज सच दैट यू एक्सपोज टू सो मैनी इशूज इन एनी पर्टिकुलर डे वेदर इट्स रिलेटिंग टू वीमेन टू चिल्ड्रेन ये जो आप बात कर रहे थे does that how does that affect you personally as you said you know you are a person behind that uniform so you know how does it how do you kind of you know take off how do you go how do you switch off from your police role into like you know that of a of a woman yeah. you know married and yeah. with a family yeah i mean yeah i think uh, i've been very lucky with a very supportive husband and a very supportive uh, family of in laws and uh, i don't think i'd be able to do much of my work if i was not getting their support and it's the support is not just in terms of you know physical stuff that they do for me or they my mother in law maintains the house etc it's also the emotional support
victims. So somehow, you know, it does impact you. I feel that uh, in the past five years, I have changed as a person. Uh, so if you do not have the right support, I believe, uh, yeah, it would have been very difficult. But we try. I try to maintain, uh, you know, my my personal life uh, by going out with my husband and doing the normal things that a normal person would do. Yeah. Uh, and yes, I I try not to think about work when I'm out with him. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, and generally, you know, at a parting, uh, you know, on a parting note, ke um. हमारे काफ़ी जो पीपल हु लिसन टू दिस पॉडकास्ट आर स्टूडेंट्स एंड आर यंग प्रोफेशनल्स वॉट वुड योर एडवाइस बी टू दैम एंड स्पेशली यू नो इफ देर एस्पायरेंट्स फो ऑफ यू नो द पुलिस सर्विस या फिर जनरली सिविल सर्विस के तो क्या आपके कुछ है क्यों वॉट वुड यू सजेस्ट टू दैम वॉट वुड यू रिकमेंड Uh, एक तो देर इज देर इज नो शॉर्ट कट टू यू नो सिविल सर्विस यू कान जस्ट से कि मैं दो महीने पढ़ लूँ और ये कर लूँ और इस अकेडमी चला जाऊँ वट एवर ऐसा नहीं है यू नीड टू पुट इन द रिक्वायर्ड हार्ड वर्क दर इज नो वे नो अदर वे अराउंड इट एंड द सेकेंड वुड बी दैट इट्स डूएबल like a lot of people have this perception about civil services that you know probably so many people fail only very like 2% pass etc etc so this is i think it's a wrong perception uh, uh, it's it's a uh, it's a doable exam uh, you just need to put in the required amount of hard work and you're able to do it and finally uh, for the families i i say that you know this support the women who have joined the service or they are in the process of joining so you have no idea how wonderful they would be or the the sort of things that they would be contributing towards the future of pakistan yeah nay nee, thank you so much amna and thank you so much for taking out the time for this you've done some great work i looked at you know the harassment reporting unit in pindi we looked at some of the data that's come out of it and it's amazing you know the things that you're able to achieve just by you know making and i think it's so important for there to be more representation within our civil yeah. service and within our yeah. police department as well because i think a lot of these are because you have women at these positions yeah. who can sort of you know guide the entire reform process or who can guide like our policy as well yeah. uh, in relation to inclusivity um so um thank you so much amna and it was great having you thank you so much for tuning into this podcast and uh, we look forward to bringing you lots more thank you